Hey, Geekscapists, I'm Ben, and I'm here with Adam De La Pena, creator of Code Monkeys. Uh, I'm with Busey. And the first thing I really want to talk about, um, Bratz. That's right, Bratz. Uh, that is probably my greatest accomplishment to date. Um, basically what happened was uh, my friend needed help with a movie, and uh, I started writing it to help them out, and then she got fired, and they kept me, and then that's it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it was a weird, weird thing. So, Never saw it. Was it good? <laughs> no idea. No idea. All right. Just saw it on your IMDb page. I'm like, yeah, that's weird. that's fantastic. an excellent thing. It's fantastic. So, I like weird stuff on my IMDb page. It's actually true. Yeah. 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 I actually, I actually just saw on my IMDb page that I was in Nash Bridges when I was five. Apparently. That's awesome. <laughs> that's great. Anyway, let's talk about Code Monkeys. All right. Okay, so this show, it uh, takes place at a game company, but it's all done with 8-bit um, animation. 8-bit animation, absolutely, yeah. It takes place at a company called Gamevision, which is kind of, um, I've always imagined that it's a game company that didn't make it out of the Silicon Valleys in the 80s. It's kind of doomed in a lot of respects because of uh, Larity, who takes over, who's the president of the company, who's from Texas and doesn't know anything about video games or anything, really. Uh, kind of like our current president. Um, so, uh, you know, it's doomed to failure, but it's fun to see them along the way. You know? Absolutely. It's a great show. Um, so, uh, with the 8-bit animation, like, did you, do you use certain, like, pre-established video games for it? No, we actually, the way we designed it, we designed uh, all the animation and all the character design as, like, original design. Um, and uh, the thing we really use is how video games move and how tell stories. So, like, we have the top and bottom bar. Which is really important that I fought for because you know networks don't understand why you want to. No, it's that. brilliant. Yeah, and uh, so I had to like just say I don't want to do the show unless we're doing that. Um, and when characters move towards the edge, they tend to stay for a second, and then the screen will expand. We scroll down. That's really what we picked up on video games, and the points and everything else. Yeah, exactly. I was just you know I'm a big fan of the show. I've been watching every episode since the beginning. Oh, What's the highest score for the uh, any episode? Do you know? No, because here's the thing. I know, I knew at one point what it was last season, but I've seen episodes you guys haven't seen, so now I know what the new one is. And I think it's on the season finale, which is going to be a uh, Grand Theft Auto style finale. Excellent. Yeah. Is it the original Grand Theft Auto, like uh, top down? Uh, of course it is, yeah. We don't have Sweet. the Sweet. way. There's no way. And uh, a lot of uh, cool guest stars, friends that we like of the show, are coming on this season. Like uh, Chris Elliott is going to be on. He plays Todd's brother, shockingly. Uh, Brian Posehn is doing, I guess, a voice on it, uh, uh, and um, a lot of other, like, uh, Steve Wozniak will be back, and um, a lot of other cool, like, really cool guest voices. Like, first season premiere, we had Tommy Chong for the story of 420, so it's been a cool year for us. Yeah, I mean, I just want to know where you get your insane ideas. I mean, I game uh, the Code Monkeys is insane, and then, like, uh, you did Minority Team as well. Yeah. You know, uh, I think they're just things that like I'm, you know, really, you know, like Comic Con, you know, things you're really interested in, and then you try to bring it out and figure out how to do it so everybody can enjoy it. Interested in comic books, uh, ran the UCLA arcade for like uh, four or five years, uh, so very interested in video games. So I wanted to do a video game show. So I, it's only things I'm really interested in. If I became interested in, you know, ninjutsu, there'd be a ninja show, but there's too many already, so I'm not going to do that. I think you'd be a great ninja show. Thank you. Uh, what, what's your favorite video game, you know? All time, and I always say this, so I'm very consistent, Castlevania. I'm not saying it's the best video game. I'm saying it's the one I played at my house the most and was the most frustrating to me. But it's a video game that really like created a world that I really, really liked. And, uh, and when they started to change it up, like with Simon's Quest, I didn't like it so much. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely see that influence in Code Monkeys. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of... And, and I'm always using it as a, a, I'm always using video games as a reference, and uh, so I'll say, you know that video game, and I'll like look it up. We have these uh, great books, and I'm like, you know how they move the screen mood weird? We got to do that. Or with a Gary Gygax episode, you know, the screen had to be a certain way, and you know, etc. What's your favorite character on Code Monkeys? Um, Besides I, Dave, uh, I like Dave, but I really do like writing uh, for Todd. Because, uh, one, he's my friend Dana Snyder from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, who's fantastic, you know, Master Shake. Yeah. Uh, and I know that when we write scenes, uh, Dave, he's a good character to play off of Dave. They're, they're kind of like, 
a different dude, but almost the same dude. They're both really self-absorbed. So when they when you have them in a scene together, they're always like, of course they hate each other, but they're always really funny together. Awesome. So uh, season two is going on right now on G4, right? right. And the DVD comes out uh, August fifth, uh, and it's uh, also on i. Uh, everything's on iTunes right now. They're they're in the seasons, which is really really cool for people who who miss the show. Even though it's on G4 like 150 times a week. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. So uh, everyone. Oh, yeah, that is a good question. Have you ever beaten Battletoads without the codes? No. <laughs> there you go. No. Nobody has, right? No. And they're liars that they, right? Nobody has. Good. I'm glad people are telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, personally, I never attempted the goddamn thing. Anyway, this is Adam De La Pena, Ben Dunn, Geekscape. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you sir. very much, man. Take it easy. Right. Thanks, okay. guys.